Hi, thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I have seen that some people have subscribed to my channel and I haven't made that many videos. And if you're old to my channel, this is what's been going on. I'm just ducking and diving a bit because the weather at the moment is shocking. It's chucking with rain, so I've just dived into my shed. So here I am in the worst possible conditions. I'm in my shed, there is no light in here, and um, the sound is probably atrocious, but I thought I need to get out of the rain in order to describe what's actually been happening probably for the whole of my life, um, but hit me big time over the last six months. Um, and also along with that, this nasty COVID thing, it's not been nice. Most of you won't know that my wife runs a music business and it's aimed at little kiddies. And suddenly with COVID, she was no longer able to work and we needed to work out some kind of way to earn a living. So in the end, what we decided to do was to make some videos. And what we did, we decided the format of the videos would be songs, a little bit of dance, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, me telling stories, which I did plant on my YouTube channel. And you've probably seen a few of those when I'm sitting on a bench with a teddy bear and all that sort of thing. Um, and I haven't been able to make more videos because that has taken up all of my time. Basically with the planning, uh, the filming, the dressing up and all that business, getting the gear out, getting it back, lights out, camera gear out, um, editing, checking, editing again, checking, editing again, sorting out problems, getting outdoor shots and all that business. There's an awful lot to do and it took us really seven days a week, took all my time up. Now I'm gonna show you the end of one of the songs. Um, we also made an outtakes movie for the parents and um, in the outtakes movie, we included this clip. Now what it doesn't show is what happened afterwards. Yep, that's it. Right, shall I go and get you some pint of water? Just lie down, Don. So on the face of it, it looks quite funny and uh, there is Ian taking his shirt off and falling over. Actually what was happening, I was overheating something chronic. I'm sweating and I couldn't breathe properly and I ended up having to lie down on the floor because I was having an AF attack and AF stands for atrial fibrillation. Now, if the truth be known, I've probably been having these AF attacks for all my life, but being younger, I've been able to cope. But when you get older, these things can really hit big time. And what actually happens is to do with your heart. And you have four chambers, two in the bottom, two in the top. These take what I think in and these go out. And what happens is one section keeps working while the other section is working at a different time like that. So your blood is pumping around your body. Now what happens in my heart is suddenly the top part does this. It goes and starts doing this quivering. Now I first became aware of it when I was sitting in a chair and I thought I was getting Parkinson's or something when I was sitting watching the TV and if I go sideways, my body leaning against the chair was going da-boom, ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. And it started moving and that was my heart pounding in my chest and I also get fluttering. So when you get atrial fibrillation, what it is, it's fluttering and pounding of your heart and it's no longer pumping blood around your system, not efficiently. So when that happens, what happens to you and your feelings is that you're passing out, you're, you haven't got oxygen in your body and you start to sort of feel weak, faint, tired. And in my case, at one point, I even passed out fully. I was doing some grouting in the bathroom and I got into the shower, shut the door and started grouting and the grout gave off fumes. The fumes got to me and I went into the kitchen and I felt a little bit faint. Then I had an AF attack as well and I went out completely cold. The last thing I remember was hearing the chair scrape and the next thing I was picking myself up off the floor. I actually did go unconscious with it. So I had atrial fibrillation now knocking me for six and then on top of that the COVID virus came and we had to then start making these films. So in between filming, I was literally almost passing out. So as far as this channel's concerned, I'm going to try and keep going if I can. 
um, I'm going to try and make it a bit more vloggy like this because this is a little bit easier although it's chucking with rain outside and I'm in a black shed with no light in nothing um, I'm going to try and carry on I'm going to make it a little bit perhaps more vloggy because continually making um, videos about microphones and filming gear is an expensive business unless you can get your hands on stuff free I can't afford to keep buying that stuff I don't have to make any more Sing Rainbows films at the moment because Helena hopefully will be going back to work in September so I'll have a little bit more time to make more of these videos. So this is the first of the vloggy type videos just to explain what has been going on and what hopefully might be going on in the future. Just to end, um, again thank you to the new subscribers who have subscribed at a time when I haven't really been making videos and for you old subscribers who know me um, that's where I've been I've been so busy you would not believe it so hopefully the channel will go on might take a slightly different direction because of the cost of the equipment and um, hopefully my treatment is going to be coming up I'm hoping at the end of August but again because of the COVID and the triage scheme that doctors have in the UK they cancelled my appointment I phoned them up and hopefully they're going to reschedule it and give me some kind of treatment for this atrial fibrillation which is really very very nasty I know when it's going to happen and I literally have to just lie on the floor and take a little sleep for a few seconds hope to see you in the next video and thanks for coming into this one to see what's going on with me. So as usual, cheers for now.